Welcome to No Smoke TV. Today I got my guy Shorty Boy from Atlanta. How you feeling today, my brother? What it do, buddy? Chilling, God, chilling. Happy to have you on the show. I, I appreciate it, bro. Yes, I'm sir. glad to be on the show. What it do? It's Tell time me. for it. We overdo, ain't it? We can't never get. I can't never catch it. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> I had a long night last night, man. I was drinking last night, so you know I woke up a little. Yeah, vibes on. Yeah, <laughs> vibes was on deck last night. So I'm um, growing up in Atlanta. What inspired you to start rapping? Like, got you on your game to start rapping? I just really always been rapping, bro. I, I really don't even remember not rapping. When I was like seven, my mama used to round the neighborhood up and shit and be like, hey, come outside and, you know what I'm saying, rap for them folk. And my stepdad used to rap when I was a kid. He used to always go to the studios and shit, take me to the studio with him. And I was just always around it, you feel me? And it made me do, like, I always wanted to do it. So I used to do it as a kid, like, before I even got took it serious, like, recording on videos and stuff like that. Like, I was just out in the hood, just rapping, like, all the time. I always wanted to show, sometimes I used to rap his raps. I used to rap his rap when I was a kid, like, man, this shit hard. I wanted to see what my neighbors and my partners thought about his shit. You know what I'm saying? Who, your uncle? I was like, yeah, that shit hard. They were fucking with it. Your uncle? No, nah, my stepdad. Oh, your stepdad. Yeah, my stepdad used to rap. So your step your stepdad got you into rapping, basically. Mm -hmm. I was gonna ask you, was there an artist that inspired you to start rapping? Was there an artist? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, uh, Lil Wayne. Oh, we I definitely be. always been a fan of Wayne. Anybody else? Uh, just Weezy. Yeah, I, I really, I really put Wayne, bro. Wayne. Could I see Definitely. you? My I see it like back in the day, you did some tracks with Rich the Kid, Soldier. None of them, none of them artists like inspired you a little bit. It was just Wayne, Wheezy. That's it. Now, as far as that inspiration, bro, Wayne inspired me. These these um artists, as far as in, you know what they did and shit. All oh, that shit super cool. But as far as the inspiration, bro, I was inspired by Wayne. I'm just, I just got to stick to that. This is the nah, truth. Respect, respect. He's one of the goats out there, man. One of the goats out there. I fought with Soldier and I fought with Rich Kid though. Facts. So growing up, did you get in a lot of trouble? Like in your teenage years, growing up in Atlanta and everything, walk, running through the city? Man, it's trouble all out here, man. It, 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 we in a world of trouble. Facts, but did you maneuver through it? You gotta or make you, the best of it. Did you move maneuver through it, it or did you get into it? I was into it. Okay. Sometimes you just, you grow you grow into it. Your, your people into it. You ain't got no choice. Yeah, but I know a lot of people that die, they around it, but they maneuver through it real nice, you know? Like, nah, I want no moving. I want no moving through <laughs> this shit. What no, nah. Yeah, it's here. What's going on? So how did you connect with Soldier Boy? Cause I, you were signed to SODMG, right? Yeah, I was signed to Soldier Boy. Um, for a couple of years, Soldier Boy found me on um, social media, around Twitter. Probably, I was like, probably like 17, 18, when I had first linked up with Soldier Boy. Um, yeah, he reached out to me. I was doing a lot of shows with um around Atlanta and shit, building a name for myself and shit like that. I used to go to like the B markets, like Augusta, like making and all that shit, doing shows and shit. And um my dude, little Playboy, he was signed with Soldier Boy. But he ain't never really put me on like, hey bro, you should come over here and fuck with Soldier Boy. Like he never told me. Like I did a show with him one day and his security guy was like, God, have you ever met Soldier? And I was like, nah. I was like, nah. He was like, man, I need to get you over here with us. And I just remember a couple months after that, I just remember Soldier reaching out to me type shit. Like, hey, I want you to fuck with the SOD shit type shit. You know how this shit go. I seen what was going on. It was cool. Cool, cool. How, like, how did, the, how many, like, how many albums y'all put together? How much work, like, music? Me and Soldier got hella shit, man. I don't even, we really, we ain't never put no album together, but we did, like, hella mixtapes and shit. A lot you of mixtapes together? Yeah, hell yeah. King Soldier, his shit, my shit. Still count series, all the shit I had on the SODMG, that shit. And so is Soldier Boy from Atlanta? Cause they be saying he's from here, from LA. Man, from I don't want to talk about Soldier Boy, man. You interview a shouty boy. No, no, we go deep into everything, man. We go we gonna touch everything, man. Man, listen, I don't want to talk about Soldier Boy smoke. Say that. Soldier you know, Boy cool. You know, I'm gonna bring you know I'm gonna bring it up. This, this, this is an issue. This you know is I'm gonna bring it up. I'm into right now. I didn't did songs with everybody. Yeah, that I know you part just of my, that was a part of, that was just a part. That was a part of my goddamn career, bro. That's all oh, I, I see you did song with Rich the Kid, but Soldier Boy was like, you know what I mean? When you do yeah, track with certain people, 
It was like a but big Soulja time of your life. Nigga, Soulja Boy, one of the first niggas that done co-signed me though, bro. Soulja Boy, I mean, probably like as a artist that's known around the whole world type shit, I guess. But bro, I've been in the streets with this shit, bro. My city back in this shit. You got rich kids, you got goddamn got young LA, you got niggas who was in their prime fucking with me to help me really build my name before Soldier Boy even caught attention to who Shadow Boy was. But you he know what I'm saying? Soldier Boy was the first. I gotta acknowledge them too. If we're gonna talk about Soldier Boy, we gotta talk about young LA. So talk about, talk about it. Talk you know about it. Talk about it. Those are the first guys that like really vouched for you. took me on the road when, when I was young, man. When they was in their prime. You know what I'm saying? Let me open up, do shows and shit. Basically, show me how the shit go. You know what I'm saying? Prep me to be a better artist. Thug, you know what I'm saying? Before Thug blew up, I was moving around with Thug. Thug, young thug? Yeah. yeah, Young Thug. See, I didn't know that. Because I, I just go by the history, and I see in your music that you have music with Soldier Boy, Rich the Kid, and mainly with the A-list a artists is Soldier Boy. So that's what we go and look at, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I didn't know you did things with Doug. I see you made an appearance with T.I. and the track and everything. I see you was working. Oh, swear, you know, you know, turn up. Uh, no smoke. That lit. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that was that was way back when, bro. I was probably like 15. When all this shit was going on. I used to be in a lot of T.I. video shoots and shit. That shit used to be crazy, man. Yeah, I know. I, I did my research, man. I was seeing what you was doing. That's why I brought up the song. Oh, Young bro. Dro, too. I can't forget about Dro. That my boy. Young Joe, bro. That nigga oh, hard, yeah. Bro. Show the lead. I remember Young yeah. Joe. Young Hell Joe. Yeah. Oh, we be in the city. He got all kind of shit going on, bro. Joe a legend, bro. Joe damn near was got down that nigga to me when I was a young nigga, bro. We it was talking about inspiration and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like how we were talking about Wayne and shit. Bro, I'm from the west side. So, nigga, being around at the yeah. time, being young, how I was to be around Young Joe and T.I., that's super lit, bro. Yeah, yeah. But the first person, but all that. But the first person to really co-sign you, co-sign you was Soldier Boy. I don't care what you say. No, it wasn't. Yo, I I'm I was you, looking. Bro, I, no, was looking. No smoke. I was no, looking. I was looking. Okay, uh, 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 like an A-list artist in your music videos vouching for you. You saying it was Soldier Boy? Am I wrong? I'm trying to think, man. I, I'm, I'm trying to really think about on this. Let me let me think. We talking about a list right now. Ah, all right, Soulja Boy was an a list, so yeah, I see what I see where you come from. Yeah, you know what I mean. Right. So you right because because if I was to say Dro got there, you that's damn near saying like if you had the cosign from Tip. Now if Tip would have did it, then it would have been like I got you. Nah, if Tip would have if Tip yeah if Tip would have got on the track with you or you. a music Soulja video Boy with you. First rapper to do it, then I, I we can't knock that. Soldier Boy is the first to do a lot of shit. I see, man. Yeah, You're the first person to sign you, right? No, you've been signed before, Soldier Boy. You were signed to like two mainstream um record labels, God right? Damn, boy, you know you remind me of uh, hey, what's that dude who be doing the interview, bro? He be knowing so much shit. <laughs> I forgot his name, bro. He a white dude. He be wearing the glasses. And he oh, I know you talk about. I know you talk. He just be pressing people. Yeah, to bring yeah. up mad shit, and they be like, yeah. "How the fuck I, you know that?" I actually signed with Universal too, but that was I was probably like fourteen. I was I was signed with Universal, and I had a uh, distribution. No, I had distribution. Uh, tied up, geeked up. I had distribution with Universal, and I was I was signed with this label called. Uh, Damn, what was it? You and I. But that was Left Eye Brother shit. Left Eye from TLC. Her um brother, that was her, la his, they labeled. Gotcha, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. I was doing that as a kid. That's when I was actually moving around with uh, the rich kids. Actually, I dropped that song, Play It Over, and then that's when I started moving around the city and shit. That was my first, actually, si real situation. My distribution I had with Universal. And then, got down, I started fucking with Young L.A., and then from Young LA, goddamn, just kept doing my own thing and shit. Then I, then that's when Soldier Boy reached out and the Soldier Boy situation happened. That was love right there, cause you was working. Soldier Boy seen you working. He like, I gotta bring this kid yeah. with me, man. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, that one hundred. So, do you think it's hard to get signed nowadays? Like for like a major label to pick you up, you think it's hard? Mm. I don't think it's. I don't think it's hard. I think you just got to be in them places, bro. Because a lot of people having majors right now. Like you, a lot of niggas getting shelved too, though. You know what I'm saying? You can get you can get a major deal, but that don't mean they're gonna push behind what the hell you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Unless that shit's super hot. So right, a lot of people get signed to be stuck. 
But then again, it's it's kind of hard to get them just get their attention too. You know what I'm saying? The actual people, because so much, you know how that phony shit goes, right? Everybody saying they're part of something. You got to get the direct person who actually, you know what I'm saying? You want to be that. You want to have the motherfucker, the real ones with you. Not a motherfucker who say they with somebody and then you find out, hey, these folks don't even know these folks. You know what I'm saying? And But that's ma- basically the whole industry right now, B. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of fake shit going on. So you think yeah, yeah. it's better to be signed or independent right now? I can't tell you, bro, because I ain't never had no major deal. You you think Soldier Boy deal was a major deal? It's still independent. You signed to an independent. SODMG is an independent label. That's not a major. A major is something like Interscope or yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Some shit. But you, you know still had a machine. You still had a machine behind you. Though. No, Soldier Boy wasn't with Interscope when oh, I was he with wasn't. SODMG. Soldier oh, Boy was doing. He was independent. He just oh, Soldier okay. Boy. You know what I'm saying? So the whole world we know him as Soldier Boy. So it's like he still had the clout and had enough leverage to, you know what I'm saying, handle handle the business on his own. You were signed to Universal though, wasn't you? Yeah. Yeah, that was a, a major. distribution. Oh, that was distribution. Yeah, that was distribution. It wasn't a, like a signed artist to. Uh, I just it was just a deal with my partnership I had with the label I was already with. Are you shopping so around right now? With. Huh? Are you shopping around right now for a label, or are you trying to do things on your I don't own? No, bro, I might go major, bro. I'm trying to go major, bro. Fuck oh, you want to go in the main? I ain't with this shit. I'm doing this shit by myself. Who? <laughs> oh, I need, hey, man. Hey, I need a schedule, man. I, if, if it's all on me, I'm going to just be rapping. So you, I'm going to be in the studio. I'm going to be goddamn going out, just letting you hear the music type shit. But as far it's as hard, being, in the right, being in the right place at the right time, basically is what I'm saying. That's really what a label going to, I feel like, apply to my situation. Like, all right, Shadow, but we need you here. You need to be here. This is the way you need to be at. Not got them in the hood, got them over here, got them a dick club, got them dick, you know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. That comes after, that comes after you make it. Then you hit the club right. club. Right now you're on grind mode. You gotta put that that work in. For sure. Yeah, I don't think independent is where it's at anymore. People be saying independent is dope. You get all the money, but it's so hard. We in a big world, there's so many rappers. I feel like you need that machine. You need that machine for sure. I feel like you need that machine. Fuck that, that machine behind this shit. Shit. You getting paid. It's a slower process when you just got down. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying though, it's a good process because they have rappers like what's that kid's name? Russ. Like he's one yeah, of Russ. the he's one of the few that could do it. You know what I mean? He got he's lucky. You know what I mean? He got a dope fan base. Right. You you have your own fan base too. So you think it ha- it's harder for a minority, like a young black man to get love like independently? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like it's hard to get love. Once you already done seen the shit, you know what I'm saying? And then you got them come, say say if you already seen it, you're in a situation and then you ex, you're doing it by yourself again. It's going to be harder because them some of them relationships was trying to got them build with you on some shit, like trying to get use you to get to the next person. And now they feel like you don't fuck with the person and you out here doing this yourself type shit. I feel like they're going to feel like they got more leverage as far as in DJs and you know what I'm saying? It just be a little bullshit. Should you so yeah, with- I think it's harder. So new music. Hell yeah. I see you've been dropping new tracks like every day, man. What's, you been in the studio yeah. living in there? Yes, bro. I'm just trying to build my goddamn sound, bro. And work on my new sound. And you know what I'm saying? Because the generation, you got to keep up with the generation of what's going on. You're not going to get left behind. So I'm really just in the studio just finding myself for real with you the new it, shit. But you, you I want that look shorty? to be right, though, bro. That's why I just slowed down on videos real quick. I usually drop videos like every three weeks, goddamn shit like that. My shit is just, I can't help but shoot videos and shit. That's all I know. I, I love to keep that shit on me. But I've been in the in my mindset like, man, I need a goddamn, I just need to, I, I, want, a, I want a different look. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just feel like, damn, now all my videos in the hood. I be looking at some of my videos, I be like, nah, I need that different scenery. When you looking at all these new videos and shit, niggas videos looking like movies. So I'm like, let me step back from the videos real quick and let me start doing some treatments and working on how I want to bring Shouty Boy as a character to the records. You know, you your brand, bro. I'm trying to make my brand super lit. So I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Come out with that crazy shit. I feel you. Are you but y'all in the studio building like, like a fuck. Do you try, you trying to switch up? Like you said, you said you're trying to find your, um, your style. You trying to, right. you know what I mean? Because it's, New generation, you have to keep up. Them, like production, like beat selection and you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. 
Are Not you gonna do a drill beat? Will I, will I do a drill beat? I ain't really, I ain't really too much for that drill shit. But I, I rap on anything, bro. Like if I'm feeling that shit, I fuck with it. You could do any beat. Hell yeah, yeah, I'm going crazy. That's how you build a fan base too. Fucking with. I haven't Everybody. seen you do. I haven't seen you really do R and B like that though. What's up with the R and B for the ladies? Shit, nah, man, you gotta get in your R and B bag, bro. I swear to God, I got hella R and B shit, but I need to drop that shit though, on it. Yeah, you need some shit you. for the bitches, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I really came out. Bro. my language, lady. Play it over song. Play it over, probably my biggest song that people be really knowing me for, like in Atlanta. I need to be. And that song was a slow ass song, you know what I'm saying? Schoolie was singing on it. What's the name it's of the song? Play it over. Play it over. Yeah, that shit crazy. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check that, it out. That was a slow song, bro. No cap. That one no got down rap shit. I got all kind of shit, bro. The shit I did with Bankroll Fresh before he passed away. That shit super hard. You know what I'm saying? There's on some street shit. It's just like nigga, you type shout it, boy, and you gonna see it's all kind of different ways of goddamn music. You gonna be like, man, hold on, just goddamn, I'm just having fun. It's just me. Nah, you just being shorty boy, man. And you are very, yeah, man, you a big personality, man. You are a very big personality. You should do more. To me personally, I think you should do more than rapping, man, because you have a big personality. You should like. For real, bro? Yeah, you should get into Somebody some other shit. telling me that, man, but I'm like, man, I ain't doing shit else, man. I'm rapping, man. Nah, rapping, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> rap is your passion, but you should start just fucking At with other shit, man. You got a big personality. So when people with big personalities, they got to take advantage of that, man. Not everybody in this world has a. It's blessed to have a personality like that, you know what I mean? So nah, that rare. That, that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take that input. Nah, that's a fact, bro. <laughs> nah, for sure, bro. So what this I might get the acting and shit. You might see ah, you there you go. There you go. I can see you doing some little Duval shit, man. Be on some ah, comedy nah, shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> on some comedy shit, bro. On some real shit. I could. Man, so what does 2022 man. hold for Soldier? I said Soldier Boy. For Shorty See? Boy. See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? No smoke. You know what I'm talking about? This nigga got me so... Not nah, just playing. It's, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> what does 2022 hold for Shorty Boy? A whole lot of new music, man. I'm going to just flood. Don't fuck with shit. I'm just working on music, bro. A whole lot of material. And I see a lot of visuals out there, too, bro. You fuck with a lot of visuals. Yeah, I... I... Like I said, bro, I've been doing this shit forever. So a whole bunch of music in 2022? Whole lot of music in 2022. I'm really trying it. to wait till it warm up a little bit, bro. It's kind of cold out here in Atlanta, bro. I can't do shit. Like, I don't want to go, like, I got to stay at the house studio. I don't want to go, like. What's cold in Atlanta? Other folks, shit. I'd be like, what? nah, I'm going to do that shit tomorrow. too cold. What's cold in Atlanta? What's the temperature out there right now? Shit, I don't know. What, what the temperature is that? Probably like, what, 50? 42? 42. Oh, oh, okay, okay. That cold, though. I'm about to say, it's it's 23 in New York over here. Oh, hell nah, see? <laughs> I, I wouldn't even make it out yeah. there. It's brick in New York, bro. bro. So a lot of music in 2022 for my man Shorty Boy. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, he's going to get my son in the acting, though. No cap. My son, six years old, his name King. Nah, I'm, I'm about to put him in little acting classes and shit. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to see me on my daddy shit. Daddy management it's tight shit, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be hard, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm gonna try to mold him into you know Joe Jackson don't vote real quick. Turn up boy. you better go crazy, boy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you don't want you don't want it to be like you, you don't want him to be a rapper, you want him to get into acting too. Whatever you want to be, bro. I'm backing it a, a million percent. And that's that's what fathers do. That's what real fathers do. Whatever you want to do, I'm here for you. Yeah, yeah, I hope he rap though. That would be super <laughs> hard though. That would huh? be hard. If I had my daddy on some rap shit, like my dad is street nigga, but my dad ain't think about no music. You know what I'm saying? But if nigga, if I had got down, boy, who? If I had a nigga telling me for real, like every day, like, well, hey, this is my son, like nigga, this is my dad, my manager type shit. Why well, already nobody be killing shit? But you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be that for my son. If he wanna do that, that'd be hard. Cause I know this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, who gonna. Nigga, who 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 not gonna tell you the right shit? You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. And you go, and you love him, so you're gonna make sure he's good. You know what I mean? Like exactly. that's your son, so you're gonna Don't make really sure he gets the best. He's crazy, bro. He gonna lit. He gonna be lit. So you don't That'll be playing be around wild. with him sometimes. You don't be playing with your son sometimes, like getting like little balls to say and stuff like that. Like what? Giving him what? Like bro, little like balls, balls, like little bro. little balls. 
Make him right. rhyme a little bit. My son be rapping everybody else shit, bro. Not no lie, bro. My son, he I, I know he like music, bro. He always rapping, bro. He be rapping 21. He'll rap my shit. I'm about to say he'll rap some shit. of my songs. Yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. Gotcha. I might like down crank them up. I might be like, I'm so I said I should leave. Yeah, he'll repeat everything I say. Type shit. No cap. How old you next, he'll say the next bar of mine. I ain't never just gave him his own shit yet, though. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> he ain't not like to be under no pressure, man. He gonna try to do it himself. How old is he? He's six. Oh, he a young king, man. Young king, man. Yeah. I be seeing you post him a lot, too. Yeah, but I can't help it, bro. I know I know they be like, damn, boy, you a rapper. Boy, you on post a VJ, got down, post your family and shit all day, got down. Boy, I, I, I be looking through my photo gallery about to post some rap shit. And I might see my little boy and be like, boy, hell no. Nah. Boy, let me put my little boy up here real quick. Yeah. I can't help it, bro. I didn't even know you had kids until you post, started posting that. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, just you got kids. Mm-hmm. A whole family, man. Yeah, man. And that's who you do for, your baby boy, yeah, man. Too. Yeah, yeah. Take care of the family. Well, thank you for stopping by the show, bro. Everybody, tune into Shorty Boy. He got some new music coming in 2022. Hey. All no, year no round. Smoke. Make sure they follow my new Instagram, boy. Shout it, boy, underscore ATL. Cause look, you know oh, yeah, the old one got hacked. The old one got yeah, hacked. Man. That's crazy, bro. My man, no, nah, no, nah, he verified, but they hacked this shit. So my man, his new shit is shorty boy underscore ATL, right? Hell yeah, man. I appreciate that, man. Y'all follow up. Y'all make sure y'all support No Smoke. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you on the um, platform, bro. And we're going to keep going up, bro. Always. And your YouTube, too. Your YouTube. Subscribe yeah, to YouTube. YouTube. Com backslash shout it boy ATL. Go make sure you subscribe to that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it all. You know what I'm saying? Tune in, close your mouth, open your ears up. Fuck with me. Check out his videos. My man got some music. He drops music like every day. My man lives yeah, in the dry. studio. No cap. So get familiar with Shorty Boy, man. A hard rapper from ATL, man. He grinding out here. He coming up. I appreciate that. No smoke.